Good day, guys. This morning I'm going to be doing a a fire assay. So that involves um, some concentrates that I've crushed up into a real fine powder and ammonium nitrate and some borax. And I'll mix them up. Uh, one part of my of my ore, crushed ore, one part of that, three parts ammonium nitrate and three parts borax. So I've got my little this little um, cup here I'm going to use as my measurer. Okay. So it's as, as simple as filling up my little cup. Just make sure you guys can see what I'm seeing. There we are. Yes, yeah, so I'll just fill up your little cup, little measuring cup. Put that in the jar. That's all the oil I need. Borax. So I've got to go three of these of borax. Three, your borax, and three of these of ammonium nitrate. You don't have to use ammonium nitrate, you can use potassium nitrate. It's two. Three. Alright. And that's it for your mix. I'll just swill it around in my jar. I'm only copying off what I saw some guys doing on YouTube. Um, this is how they did their their fire assay. Oh yeah, so it's all thoroughly mixed up. Next, and I'll do this later. I'll leave it in the little cup for now, in my jar, and then I'll um, I'll put it in my crucible. And then I'll put it in me uh, in me furnace and fire it. And uh, yeah, and I'll get back to you once I've set up me me furnace. I'll get back to you. Okay, we got the uh, the crucibles in the in the furnace. So I'll just warming it up a bit, and then I'll shut the lid and um, we'll melt it down. Yeah. I'll get back to you when I do the pour.
pour. I'll just show you inside. There. That's the flux. It's all starting to cool. So I'll just leave that now until it cools right down. And I'll knock it out, crush it up, and see if we've got any um, small beads of gold. Or copper or whatever. I'll get back to you guys. Okay, it's cooled down. We'll just knock it out and then uh, see what we've got in there. Right, all that glass is what we want. And then um, I've got to crush that up finer and see if we've got any metal in there. Doesn't look really crash off. Oh yeah, by the way too guys, um, I had a boil over. I had a boil over in my uh, furnace. So I've lost a bit of the material. Hopefully I didn't, I didn't lose all my gold. Yeah. Anyway, this is only an experiment. So um, I'm going to do a bigger one. I've just ordered another crucible, a bigger crucible. So I can uh, do a bigger smelt. Okay guys, I'll get back to you. Alright, I'll crush it up, crush it up, put it in my mortar and pedal, uh, pestle just to make it smaller, but um, I've made a blunder. Uh, I put the, um, the slag into my dolly pot, I, I'd give the dolly pot a bit of a belt on the back of it to clean it out, put the, um, the slag in a dolly pot, crushed it up, and when I've chipped it out, there was there was uh, must have been material in the dolly pot which has contaminated my bloody sample so so this this is a um, is a blooper this one so, but like I said I've ordered a, a bigger um, crucible I'm going to do a big smelt on the next one Anyway, I'll continue grinding this up really fine and then I'll pan it out and we'll see what we got. Well, there it is at the top of the pan guys. Um, I'll take some, um, I'll put it on my microscope and take some photos of that metal, but um, because I've contaminated it, I don't know if that metal's come out of my dolly pot or whether that was a metal that was uh, out, of the, out of the ore that I crushed. So. I'm going to have to do another one. Yeah, it's so critical to make sure everything's clean and everything's precise. But uh, anyway, I'm going to send some off to the lab anyway. So um, yeah, so that's the metal I'm getting. It's that orangey, coppery looking metal. But uh, I'll look under the jeweler's loop. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, it was a it was a blooper. Uh, maybe next time I'll get it right. Okay, bye for now.